graph the inequality, 3x minus 2y is greater than 6. Now we're going to start by graphing our boundary line, 3x minus 2y is equal to 6. So that boundary line, again, 3x minus 2y is equal to 6. I'm going to use a t-table to find intercepts. In this equation, if x is equal to 0, then negative 2y is 6, or y is equal to a negative 3. In this equation, if y equals 0, then 3x is 6, or x is equal to 2. Let's plot those points over here on our rectangular coordinate system. We have the point x equals 0, y equals negative 3. And we have the point x equals 2, y equals 0. Now, as we graph this boundary line, we're going to graph it as a uh, dotted or dashed line because our inequality is a strict greater than. Points on the line do not satisfy that inequality. So make sure that you graph this as a dotted line. Now, next, we need to determine which side of this line to shade to represent our solution region. So choose a point that is clearly off that boundary line, such as the origin, and let's use it as a test point in our original inequality. 3x minus 2y is greater than 6. Substitute 0 for x and 0 for y to get 3 times 0 minus 2 times 0. Does that work? Is this greater than 6? That's 0 minus 0, or 0 is greater than 6. Nope, that's a false statement. Therefore, the point that is the origin does not satisfy our inequality, indicating that none of these points over, over here on this side of the uh, line, boundary line, satisfy that inequality. Therefore, the points on the other side do. Okay. So here we have a graph of our solution region to the inequality 3x minus 2y is greater than 6.